I just made the biggest mistake in my hobby life. I sent 40 cards to PSA without cleaning, inspecting, and even looking at these cards. I sent them blind, 40 cards. Watch this whole video to find out what the hell happened. Results in soon. It's me, AJD, from the LA Hobbyist. So let's deep dive into what happened when you send 40 cards into PSA without inspecting, without checking, and without doing your quality control on your cards. Let's see if I make the grade, and let's deep dive into this. So the first card I'm going to look at is... The 2007 Topps Echelon Kobe Bryant. Uh, it's numbered out of 999, and it's such a beautiful card. But why did I send this in? I wanted this to be a very like PC card for me. Um, but you got, as you can tell, the card is very off centered. It's uh, very off centered. The corners kind of suck. I sent this in anyways. So, I got the buzzsaw from PSA, and it is well-deserved. I got a 7. The next card would be the 2003 Fleer Patchworks Kobe Bryant by the numbers. I got a 7, but I'm pretty sure the centering is pretty bad on this one. But also the corner. The corners are just not pristine at all. Um... Yeah, but it uh, it's still a nice card, and I'm I, I finally I think I you know got a winner on this one. <laughs> I still love this card, even if it's out of seven. Definitely a PC card. All right, the next card on this list is the Showstoppers card, Kobe Bryant. It is two out of fifteen, super short print. Um, man, it's such a nice card gives you that Vegas feel but the Flair Authentics Kobe Bryant Showstoppers you know it's numbered out of like 15 and it got a 7 a well deserved 7 because I didn't do my due diligence basically alright so just to let you guys know that I really didn't look through this but I did when I receive the grades, I know exactly what I'm getting. But I will explain to you guys what the do's and don'ts of, you know, um, going through submissions are. Or even the process of submitting your your cards. I did this blindly, and these are the results. So let's, let's deep dive into the results. So this next card, you know, it's, it's immaculate. It's an immaculate card. Uh, the standard, Damian Lillard. And it is the 2016 Immaculate Collection, Damian Lillard, the standard relics. And it got a PSA 8. I'm actually pretty happy about that, but it's a pretty modern card. So it should have gotten a 9 to make money off of it. But again, Dame's my guy, he's my PC. So great. It's numbered to 85. It's a PSA 8. It's a patch card. I'm not too pissed about that. Let's go. All right. The next one is a dual game materials card. LeBron James and Clyde Drexler. Let's see what we got. It is a PSA 8. I mean, it's... it's pretty tough. It could have seven because the centering is not too... It's, it's not a clear cut like, oh, I should send this in. Um, it might have been the corners that would have... Uh, that did me in, but I didn't care. I sent it anyways. Next card is a Star Quest card. Blue, I believe. Kobe Bryant and it is a PSA 8. A PSA 8 Kobe Bryant Star Quest Blue, I don't think is is bad um, for me. It's PC Kobe 8. 
Um, I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. The next card is another Star Quest card. It's the Star Quest Red, Kobe Bryant, and another eight. Another eight. Man, we're running through the eights. But if you can tell me how many um, grades I've gotten uh, of an 8 and 7 so far on the comment section below, and actually overall, the, the overall grades I've gotten, you know, let me know in the comment section below. You might get something. So the Skybox Kobe Bryant Autographics got a PSA 8. The 2004 Upper Deck Cleveland National set out of 500, I got a PSA 8 Kobe Bryant. It's not bad because it's Kobe. I'm telling you. Whew. This is an Upper Deck 1998 SP Authentic Michael Jordan. I got this in an 8. Not bad if you're starting a PSA 8 Jordan collection. I got a second year LeBron James upper deck card, 2004 Rivals, LeBron, PSA 8. Man, I, I wish this would have 9 or even 10, but you can't get what you want all the time. So I like this card. It's actually numbered to 750, 713 out of 750. It's a FLIR card. FLIR Futures. 2000 Fleer Futures, Kobe Bryant, Copper, PSA 8. I mean, what a way to start my PSA, or sorry, what a way to start my Kobe Bryant collection, right? Um, right here, I got upper deck, Jordan Files, you know, the one with Jordan and Kobe, PSA, man, 8. I got a PSA 8 on that. Come on, man. Oh, I got a PSA 8. Wow. PSA 8. But the card looks really nice. So I got a 2004 Fleer Throwbacks Kobe Bryant Defining Authentic. In a PSA 8. Basically. PSA 8. Oof. Rough grades, right? Rough grades, but it depends on how you look at it. Are these rough because I'm trying to flip it? Or cool because I'm trying to collect it? it it's totally up to your mindset. I think it's all about perception. The hobby is definitely all about perception. It's a Tom Brady card, all right? Tom Brady, it's out of 349. And it's a thick boy card. Boom. It's the Steve Breston and Tom Brady changing faces gold and blue. So it you got a PSA 8, unfortunately. But it's still a nice card in an 8. And Tom Brady is a GOAT, officially retired. You know? Oh man, another Tom Brady card. Another Tom Brady card. It's the 2006 SPX football. Boom. PSA 8. I got an 8 on this one. I sent two of these in, so, you know, hopefully they're both not 8s. Uh, let, let's keep watching to find out. Alright, I got a checklist card from Jordan. It's an upper deck. 1998 UD Choice. Michael Jordan. Checklist 100 to 200. And it got a PSA 8. Damn. But it's still a nice card in an 8. And I'm telling you, people do collect PSA 8 Michael Jordans and Kobe Bryants. Whew. Rough grades, huh? I know. But I, I don't think it's that rough for me. Alright. I got another Kobe card. Let's hope I get better than an 8 this time, right? The 1997 Vision Signings, 
Kobe Bryant artistry. Got a PSA 8. Wow. Go figure. But it's such a nice card. And, you know, 8s are great with Kobe. But that same rule does not apply to every card. Just to let you guys know. For those of you that are new into the hobby, 8s are definitely not great. Only when it's Kobe and other greats. Keep that in mind. All right, let's continue. I got another batch here. And do you think I made it to 40 cards yet? Or do you think I'm just halfway there? Let me know in the comment section. So I have this Spider-Man card. It's a 20 out of 20. Um, but it has a football player. And his name is Tony Martin. So it's the 1997... Metal Universe, Tony Martin, Marvel Metal, Whew. and it's a 20 out of 20, PSA 9, PSA 9, baby, let's do this, I got a PSA 9 out of that, that's awesome, all right, this one's soccer, I got this from the Nationals a long, long time ago, three years ago, my first Nationals. Uh, 2 out of 25, it is a Icy Blue Foil 2021 Tops MLS David Ochoa. Till this day, I do not know who David Ochoa is. If you guys know who the soccer player is, is he a good or decent soccer player? Or is this guy a nobody? Or is this guy not even in the league anymore? Please let me know in the comment section. All right. Let's keep this going. I got a Carmen Electric card. I believe it's Topps Chrome. So let's flip this over. And it got a PSA 9. So I bought this card in a collection. Like I had like this whole like early 2000s collection. Thanks, Drewski, um, for selling me your collection. As soon as you found out I was in the hobby, you, you reached out, sold me your collection for a good price. And now I got this Carmen Electric card, PSA 9. I believe this is her rookie year. The next one is Ariane Celeste. So I got this card from Joe uh, at Diamond 9 Sports. He, he was one of my vendors there when I was throwing uh, these uh, shows over there. And this card is numbered to 99. It's a refractor. Joe gave this to me for a very good price price so thank you joe mr joe all right ready and i got a psa 9 i really thought this was gonna 10 and you know when i was i i i barely looked through these before i sent them in but i knew this i thought this was going to 10 and they got a 9 so you see in the hobby you don't necessarily know it all you might think you know it all, but then you quickly find out you know nothing. You know nothing. So, 20, 2012 is a special year. It was the draft year of my now favorite player. He's probably second of all time for me. For me, second all-time favorite player, right behind Mr. Kobe Bryant, Damian Lillard. And I got his Panini Brilliance, graded them. I have two of these. I graded them, and I got a nine. So let's check out the next Panini Brilliance, Damian Lillard, and I got a nine again. So I got two back-to-back -back nines with Damian Lillard, and man, I wish they would attend, but whatever. Um, am I going to keep those? Probably not. I want to probably sell them so that I can move up into a bigger rookie Damian Lillard card. So, you know, I got to quickly, not quickly, but I got to sell them. You know, I got to sell them. All right. Whew. All right. This is a Jordan card. 
the 1999 Career Collection, Michael Jordan Rise to Greatness in a PSA 9. That is so great. That's awesome. Great. Um, I got a Star Quest, Michael Jordan Blue. Boom. Oh, shoot. It's a PSA 9. That's pretty cool. I, I, I like these uh, choice cards, these Star Quest cards. It's, it's awesome. Whew. All right. Next is another Jordan. Jordan! PSA 9. The Upper Deck Jordan Collection through 1986 through 1987. 3,000 points in a PSA 9. Nines are fine, man. Nines are fine. But I do have to warn you that not all nines are fine. And nines nowadays have, there's a very big gap between nines and tens. And the gap is growingly, it's growing increasingly large. So just letting you guys know that if you are new to the hobby, nines are not always fine. So if you're for collection purposes or for, you know, resale value, you want more tens. But I believe nines can get you to where you need to be in the hobby. You just don't want too much of it. I, that's just my personal opinion. If you want to argue with me in the comment section below, by all means, just do it. Just give me a comment. I'll comment back. I swear. All right. The next card is a Kobe Bryant card. It looks like a metal card. And it is a 1999 metal Kobe Bryant. But I got a PSA 9 on this one. So I got a PSA 9 on this Kobe Bryant card. Great. Whew. All right, ready? Okay, I got the 1999 Topps MVP Promotion Exchange Kobe Bryant in a, you got it, a PSA 9, PSA 9. It's such a sick card, though. It's a promo card. So most of these Kobe's that I've gotten, I bought in my first year of the resurgence of the hobby in 2020, maybe possibly 2021. From a dude named Miguel. Miguel, 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 Miguel. Dominate24 is the premier Kobe collector. And thank you again for giving me such fire to grade, you know, years later. Um, I, I really do appreciate you, brother. Uh, thanks. So this is a StarQuest card. StarQuest Green. And I got a 9. I got a 9 in the StarQuest Green. This is crazy. Whew. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it pushing. So, a league leader's card, and it's not a basketball card. You know, go figure. Ooh. But that's very rare to see a non-basketball card in my hands. So, it's a 2008 league leader's tops gold Tom Brady. Tom Frickin' Brady in a 9. I thought it was going to 10, but 9s. Nines. 9s, nines in this case, is okay. It's fine. You know, we can. I can bend your ear on how much it's going to cost, but I haven't even caught these cards out. That might be another video. Uh, yeah, that might be another video, to be honest. Another Tom Brady card, a 2019 Panini Donruss. It's Press Proof Bronze. Press Proof Bronze, Tom Brady in a PSA 9. Go figure, a PSA 9. Whew. PSA 9. I have an SPX Authentic Football. Sorry, it's not authentic. <laughs> It's just an SPX. Uh, Tom Brady, PSA 9. Okay, the other one got an 8, and this one got a 9. So that's great. And I think the more expensive one would be the 9. 
Um, no, not because I, I'm into it more expensively than the 8, I believe. But go figure. So be careful. This was an eBay buy. A, a, a good, a, a small amount of these cards are eBay buys for me. But my biggest eBay buy was a couple years back. The 2000 Fleer Gold Medallion Kobe Bryant. I bought it. Thought it was going to 10, even though a friend of mine at that time said it wasn't. But guess what? He was wrong. He was freaking wrong. I got a 10 and was able to sell it for a good amount of change. All right. Attack the Rack, Kobe Bryant. Three out of 20. Boom. 2000 Fleer Game Time, Kobe Bryant, Attack the Rack, PSA 9. I got a 9 on this one. That is cool. I got a 9 on that one. It's not too bad, right? I don't think I did too bad. I don't think I did too bad despite the blind the blind turn-in. You know, the blind submission was actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I got to figure out, you know, if my eye testing's okay. And it's not that bad. You know, a lot of these cards are pretty old. And I got a fair amount of 9s versus the 10s. You know, or sorry, versus the 8s. So let's go. All right, this is a Thick Boy card. It's Patch. It's out of 75, and it's my boy, Dane Time. Let's go. Boom. Damian Lillard. All right, Swatches, Patch, out of 75, and I got a 9. That is fine. That's definitely fine. All right. A Sports Fest card, Kobe Bryant, 2004 Upper Deck Sports Fest. Out of 500. In a PSA 9, baby. I got a PSA 9 out of that one. Let's go. And up until this point, can you guess how many 9s versus 8s I got? And let me know in the comment section below. And don't cheat and go all the way to the end of this video to find out what the grand total is. Don't do that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, this is a gold flash Damian Lillard NBA hoops out of 10, not a true gold. PSA 9. PSA 9, it's, it's okay. That's a lot of 9s. Alright. That is a lot of 9s, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the next one. A 2020 Panini Flux Damian Lillard Blue. I actually got a PSA 10. A PSA 10. And to be honest, and it's out of 99. And I, to be honest, I got this for 8 bucks. Graded it for like, what, 21 at the time. To under 30 bucks into this card. That is crazy. That's awesome. Now, now I'm hoping to sell it for 80 Maybe. Uh, Michael Jordan. It's a single. The singles collection. Black Diamond. Boom. I got a 10. I actually got a 10. I got another 10. That's crazy. I got another 10. That is awesome. All right. All right. So, it's under the Black Diamond collection, it's the singles, or the single, and it's a PSA 10 Michael Jordan, 1998, Upper Deck Black Diamond, single, Michael freaking Jordan. That is awesome, guys. I'm going to run a giveaway, but I want to see if you're paying attention. I want you to tell me how many 7s I've gotten, how many 8s, how many 9s, and how many 10s I've gotten. Write that in the comment section below. Also, follow my Instagram, the at the LA Hobbyist, and subscribe to my channel, at the LA Hobbyist. Do those three things, you'll be entered in a giveaway to win one of these cards. So...
definitely enter the giveaway. And I'm going to have a surprise gift for you. Enter the giveaway. And this is my first YouTube giveaway. Again, guys, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. See you soon. Bye!